The sinking of the HMS Canberra project uh, is a project to provide a popular dive site uh, for uh, local and interstate and overseas divers. It's necessary when providing uh, safe uh, facilities for diving that it be in the appropriate water depth. Uh, typically, uh, recreational divers are diving between 18 metres and 30, 30 metres. Um, there's need for ready access to the dive site, and in, in this situation, there's access through Port Phillip Bay, there's access through Barwon Heads, and down as far as uh, Torquay. The other uh, aspect is it needs to be clearly marked so that divers can readily reach the wreck. The issues that needed to be addressed in settling a wreck such as this is that the wreck needs to be safe. With a large vessel like this, there'll be passageways through the vessel that need to be sealed and clean. Uh, of course, it was necessary that the wreck uh, be laid evenly on the bottom, so uh, particular care had to be taken to the location and the way that it was sunk. The solution in regarding nav aids is to clearly mark the wreck We've typically marked uh, obstructions in the water around these areas with four boundary markers and in this process we suggested that four Poseidons be used and at each end of the wreck we suggested our larger 2.2 Nautilus buoy which could provide uh, proper lighting and visibility. The key stakeholders in this project were Parks Victoria which were supervising uh, the sinking of the wreck, uh, Elston Diving Services which are very experienced in marking uh, and providing diving services in this particular area and uh, were uh, well experienced in uh, sea light equipment and of course sea light itself providing some technical expertise in the way that the wreck was marked. Yeah.